your light has come. Isaiah said that. He said that the glory of the Lord yeah. is risen. Yeah. Yes. Let me say that. He said the glory of the Lord yeah. is not going to rise. He said the glory of the Lord is risen yeah. Yeah. upon you. Amen. So tell yourself that the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Amen. Come on, it's not going to. He uh, says it is. Amen. Amen. Even when you hit 79. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, mother. Hit 79, but you were probably driving that fast lane. <laughs> no? Oh, no. praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's just good to see everybody today. I want to tell you that Milton Harvey um, hit 65 yesterday. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 There are many people who are out. Uh, some are vacationing. Some are but just I'll say some are just going through some challenges mm -hmm. and they need to know young and old uh, that the Lord's heart has not changed <laughs> you know that's what I find so fascinating about God is that no matter how much you and I reject him yeah. his yeah. heart never changes it's the truth. It's the truth. you know uh, I read something the other day where it says his love is it's everlasting, it never changes, but it changes us if we allow it to. Mm -hmm. uh, and our job is not to save anyone. Yeah. Right. You know, I think that's where we mess it up. Uh, we try to make our children get saved. We, you know, our job is to, first of all, present Jesus. Amen. Let them know that there is an alternative. Mm -hmm. Amen. To being out in this world. And then it's their choice yeah. at that point. What you have to make sure you do, you and I, is live mm -hmm. a life Amen. before them Amen. that does not conflict the message you're, you're speaking to them. Amen. Because if you're speaking a message to these children Amen. and your actions Amen. conflict with them, Amen. they're not going to see anything about Jesus that they want or need. Amen. And so and we're, losing, we're losing generations now. And so we've got to get this thing right. Uh, and so uh, I'm encouraged by the word of the Lord. But I, I, I just see so many of our young people. Uh, they're being drawn away and enticed. And they see our strict way of living as rebellion. They want to rebel against that. Uh, and so... It saddens me when I read about what young people are doing today. Yes, yes. And uh, my heart weeps for them. And they have seen us in church be so hypocritical. Uh, they don't know what to believe. And so I just encourage you, saints of God, get this thing right. Amen, amen. You know, uh, my daddy coming up, my daddy said, no matter what we, you know, no matter what we did during the week, Sunday morning, get out of that bed. That's right. <laughs> you going to church. That's right. I looked at daddy, okay, well, daddy, you going? <laughs> <laughs> he might, he might not. <laughs> but you go. And so we would get up, look, we, we could party all night long, but as long as we was in the house, right. Sunday morning, you were going to church. Amen. Uh, that's all we knew it as. We were meeting the requirement for one, for not getting killed from daddy, and then we found that church was a good place to sleep. Some of y'all, I, I would get on that back row in the church, and I got the best sleep. But I went to church. And I want that to be more. You understand that it's got to be more for us. We have a responsibility to be an expression of God's love. Uh, because the world needs it sorely right now. Amen. We got children growing up, going off to college. Jennifer. 
Amen. Some of them may not come home to live with you again. Some of them may. Uh, but we got to make sure that we have planted in them what is necessary to keep them. Amen. Going back to our foundational scripture, uh, Numbers 23, 19, the uh, uh, minister just quote, had us quote that, and I want to emphasize the three aspects of that that we've been speaking on. So we give honor to each of you, Pastor Tanya, my family here today. Amen. 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 We honor each of you uh, in the house today, and, and we, we cover those that are absent today. Amen. 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 We uh, give a shout out to Greater Faith, uh, North Peel Community Church in Toronto, all the covenant churches that are with us and our brothers and sisters in Kenya, India, Pakistan, Uganda, Nigeria, uh, that we have been in contact with. We, we give them a shout out. Uh, I'm trying to coordinate right now uh, a ministry conference with Kenya. We've been working with them this week, trying to get things set up to where we can do the first one initially by Zoom. So they're working now on their end to try to get things set up. And then once they do, we're gonna send information out where you can participate if you like. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Now understand something. It is nothing in there about what you're going to do. That's your right. Amen. That's right. That'll preach. All my one of our In that verse, it has nothing to do with what you're going to do. Amen. All God wants is a yielded vessel. Amen. He said, I'll do the work. I just need you to bow your head. What does that mean? Remember what we've been talking about being yoked to Christ means to be in a yoke, you have to bow your head down. Why is that? When you bow your head down, he places a yoke. It's a you like a you clamp over your neck. The neck is an expression of the will. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So when I come before God and I bow my head down, I'm saying, put the yoke over my will. All right. Some of y'all still hitting it before me. Go ahead. Because you got a strong will. You say, I'm tight this thing. That's why you notice in Scripture, he always calls his people stiff-necked. You, you read the Scripture, he always calls Israel stiff-necked. They, they kept opposing the yoke. Their will kept bucking against his. So he said, they're stiff-necked people. Let us not be stiff-necked. Let us willingly bow our head Amen. and let God place the yoke on us. Because yes. when he does, when he, he's allowed to do it, it's no longer what you can do. It's about what he said he would do. Amen? Amen. Amen. So these three aspects I've been talking about. I am who God says I am. Amen? Amen. I can do what he says I can. Come on, do I have any of the answer? Amen. I have what God says I have. Now notice, let me go back to the first one here. I am who my husband says. I am who my wife says. My cousin Pookie. Come on. Amen. Jim Bobby, I, I am who God says. That's right. Amen. If you can't settle that, now I'm just walking you back through this as a review. If you can't settle that you are who he says, you will allow anybody to come along and define you. That's right. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But oh, thank God that God defined who I am. Hallelujah. And when I accepted that, I willingly bow the head down and say, place your yoke back. What that symbolizes to God is you no longer want to do your thing anymore. That's right. You no longer want to go your own way anymore. Yes. Listen, I've been down my road with my way, Amen. and it has ended up 
with a mess. Yes. Amen. 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 Y'all listening to me? Amen. Children out of wedlock. Amen. Confuses everybody. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Amen. That was Lewis's way. Now who wanted to go down that path again? Amen. That's right. Come on. Lewis's way ended up with a heartbreak. Cause I thought I was the best thing since life great, but other women told me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, don't look at me somebody else I'm not joking, it ain't crazy. <laughs> you know, we are legends in our own head. <laughs> and we start going down the path that we see in here. And then you quickly learn that your way is filled with chaos, is filled with doubt, is filled with misery, and the devil will convince you to continue to go down your way. How much misery is enough? Amen. So I willingly bow my head and say, Lord, I believe I tried your way now. Amen. I'm always trying to minister to you transparently because the Bible says only truth makes people free. That's right. Amen. Us cloaking what is true don't make people free. That's right. You got our babies get ready to go off into this world. They need to know that listen. You've experienced failure in your life, so when you, I was telling our, our young girl quarter this morning, so since when they go out, they're educated. They, they have a lot of skill sets, but what they don't have, they need from the generation before them, and it's called wisdom. Amen. So when I function the way God told me to function, my children might look at me and my wife like we old school, rusty, they don't tell them often that I'm crusty. <laughs> The way they look at the dead is we're all, all crusted up. <laughs> but what they don't have is the wisdom mm -hmm. that I've received Amen. through the failures of your life. I can offer that even if I can't keep up with them running. Mm -hmm. I can offer wisdom. Amen. I can tell my baby, no, don't mess with him because I see in his eyes right now what he wants. Amen. Amen. You know, they'll, they'll go, no, daddy. Yes, it is. You better still clear. I'm telling you what I see now. Why? Because I was there. Come on, man. That's wisdom. So I am who I am now, not because of anything I've done. It's because I've bowed my head and allowed God to place the yoke over my head. I'm 62 years old now. I wish I would have done it when I was 30. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Talking about the, the suffering I could have avoided. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's all. The confusion yeah. that I could have avoided. Yes. Amen. 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 I am who he says I am. I can do what he says I can. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me. Move on a little bit. I shared last time with you that we are kings and priests unto God. That's not poor. Okay, that ran that ran too fast for me. Let me say it slow like my last is the winter time. You can't be a king and be broke. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to register. See, we've been trained to make sure that we all Jesus was poor. Jesus went around and he didn't have much. Who, you tell me, who walks around with a treasurer and bro? Jesus had a treasurer that followed him everywhere he went and his name was called Judas. 
anybody do. As soon as God presents avenues to where we can walk in that, that abundance, we do something to sabotage it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all been up. That's right. I'm trying to just walk you through it. That's right. You show me a king but a treasurer that's broke. Do y'all have treasures? My God, my God. Amen. And you all got some, at least a pair of spare change in your pocket. <laughs> he had a treasure holding the money bag. Amen. And then if it was no money in the bag, he said, go out to the lake. He said, now, listen now, Lord. He said, the first fish that you catch, Open his mouth up. He didn't say the second fish. See, we don't put our education. This is what this generation it messes everything up. Because they're wiser when it comes to education side. So they look at stuff that we tell them as crazy. Then when I said, why would you want me to catch the first one? The first one was a little minnow looking fish. So they said, well, I'm going to throw that first one. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm gonna, then I catch the second one. The second one, the big fish, they open the mouth of the second fish. Be nothing in there. Because God said, go to the first one. Yes. Education will tell him, no, they're not too small. He went ahead and in there. He went out to the, he caught the first fish. He opened his mouth up and there was gold in the fish mouth. Hallelujah. What else? It doesn't matter whether you've got the money in the back. You are connected if you're yoked to Jesus when the money is needed. God said, open up the fish mouth. Teachers, go out there to the shed. There's a possum there. And that joker got a hundred dollar bill in his paw. We don't think that God will do those things. The Bible says, glory to God. He said, I am God and I change not. When I see how with ground holes, I'm looking where they really going. Ain't no telling what they brought in my yard. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm looking too. Amen. Drew Amen. Amen. always talk about the moles and the y'all awesome. man, I'm joking, they can't be carrying my money right now. When I bow my will to God, he's trying to tell us when you're yoked to me, you are a king and a priest. And you can't find anywhere. If you find somebody that was like that in the Bible, bro, please show me. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why they turn over to come to church and cry everybody crying for <laughs> That's why they're so true to get an education. Why? You gotta make some out of yourself. The greatest gift I can give my children is the word of God and a lifestyle Amen. 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 that reminds them who, who owns it all. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and all they that dwell in it. Why wouldn't I want to yoke myself to him so that when I do have a need, that possum just wanders in my yard. He never been there. Amen. But he picked something up. That's right. Mm -hmm. And dropped it right in my yard for me to find. Amen. Amen. I saw years ago. Y'all might have heard me say you go if you haven't forgotten me. I dreamed that where my old shade is, I saw gold coming out the ground. Mm -hmm. And so like it would be I've been out there walking around that shade. <laughs> <laughs> And I still, to this day, when I'm out there, I'm saying, I, I, I have an expectation that I'm going to see gold. Right. Now, that doesn't mean that something didn't bring it there. Right. But I'm looking for the gold. Amen. Because Amen. I saw it. Amen. 
And I realized I got delivered. Y'all, please hear me. This is recently happened to me. I got delivered from what was in my bank account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got delivered. Uh -huh. I, I, it, it, it doesn't take away prudent planning. Mm -hmm. We still plan and do things. But I, I realize I'm not limited whether I got 5,000, 20,000, 100,000. My plans are not limited by what I have in that bank. Y'all yeah. please show me so many, so many say, y'all, y'all realize, no, I'm telling you, I've been in ministry for almost 42 years and I'm just now getting there. Amen, praise God. Amen, praise God. And I begin to thank God. I said, Lord, I'm thank you that because I'm young to you, I have access to everything and you are my source for everything. So I should just go write certain things that I want to get done. God. And I have an expectation yeah. that even if I don't see it there, right. I'm young. Amen. And he knows what I have needed. Amen. Amen. Y'all better stop chasing that false match of y'all. You better check and see what they got first. Yes, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> Revelations. Uh, I know it's just a review. I can't get past it. <laughs> Revelation 1, 5, and 6. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Prince of who? Kings. kings. The prince of the kings means he's the chief king. Amen. 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 Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. And has made who? Us. Kings. Kings and priests. Look to somebody and say, he's talking about you. He's talking about you.
must go forward understanding that not one word God spoke ever failed. I am who God says that I am. He says I'm a king and priest. Now here's, a, here's, here's I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 28, 13, then I'm going to move on. But give me, give me 10 minutes. Come on, how many, will you give me 10 minutes? Bacon, will you give me 10 minutes? How about you? Will you give me 10 minutes? See, I got 20 minutes now. <laughs> Amen. I just tricked them into they were new. I got 20 minutes now. Listen to Deuteronomy here. And the Lord shall make thee the head. Not what? The head. Why are you still in? Why are you still in the rear? Amen. That's right. And thou shalt be what? Above them. Above them. Why are you still in the Amen. Amen. That's right. The mentality we have is let's be at the end of the line always. And let's be beneath. He said, I will have you be the head. And not the tail and above only. Not up sometime and only. Amen. Amen. See, we became comfortable with being under. Yeah. He said above only. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Shh. And thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe to do them. Amen. What did he say? Obey me. Amen. Don't be stiff necked. Don't oppose my will. That's right. Let's go to the next one. I can do what God says I can do. I tried to share last week with you briefly. We all have souls in our lives. Saul was king. But Saul had such a negative outlook on life to where when David came with a message of victory, he said, you can't do this, man. Hmm. David said, wait a minute. This Goliath must die. Mm -hmm. He has defied the armies of God. And yet, the king tells David, you're just a young boy. This man has been on uh, a warrior from his youth. All right, man. So there are times when you've got souls in your life that tell you you can't do it. Amen. You're not good enough. You made too many mistakes. All right. You remind Saul of your resume. That's what David did. David said, hold on, king. I was keeping my father's sheep and a lion and a bear came. Amen. And took one out of, out of the sheepfold. David said, I went out after it. Uh -huh. Amen. And David said, I was going to let the lion and the bear live, but they turned on me. Mm -hmm. He said, when they turned on me, I slew both the lion Amen. and the bear. And yeah. this unclean Philistine mm -hmm. will be as one of them. What is it? He's quoting his resume. Don't y'all realize that the struggles you've been going through and all of these things, God been trying to get you to be above only. He been building your resume yeah. for. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you went through that one time and you couldn't see any way out, God wanted you to rest in him and know that he still got you. He was building a resume of trust. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was building a resume so much so to where when your husband and wife don't want to do it, you had a resume built because you saw what God did before. Amen. Amen. Now you get old, crusty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you want to follow your husband and wife in the wrong path. Mm -hmm. And you got a resume bill. Amen. Amen. They don't want to read that crusty joke and still living with me before you were faithful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We, we got to get a hold of this thing. Yes. Yes. Amen. What, what, can, what can we do? Let me, let me go here because I got, I got 10 minutes. Matthew 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, 
talking about his disciples. He said, because of your unbelief, when the man brought his son to have the devil cast out, they said, Master, why couldn't we cast him out? He said, this is the, his answer to that, because of your unbelief. You didn't trust me. You didn't believe what I told you. Who you are. What you can do. He said, all power is in my hand. He said, I gave it to you. You didn't believe that power or that authority. He says, for verily I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed. That's what he said. Remove his to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to God. Is that what I said? I thought I caught you napping. <laughs> Nothing shall be impossible to you. That I can do what God says I can do. I didn't, it didn't say I can do what I feel. Yes. I can do what he says I can do. And he just said nothing is impossible to you. Are you yoked to his will? Because when you're yoked to his will, you've drawn close enough to it. Mm -hmm. He says to do one thing when you're yoked, he said, learn of me. Watch how I walk. Amen. Watch how I talk. Watch how I command. He said, learn from me. And go do the same. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing to know that I'm learning day by day to take the shackles off God's hand. Amen. In my own life. Yeah. I'm not perfect, but I'm striving for it now. Right. And I'm beginning to see things and Amen. hear things that I've never heard before. Yeah. But he said, nothing shall be impossible to me. So what about you? Matthew 10 and 8. Now, this is where I differ from most people in Christian. Most people in Christian want to get ugly. This is what Jesus said do. Heal the sick. You say I can do what he says I can. Well, he said heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out devils. Freely you have received. Freely give. Let me tell you what we want to do. We want to entertain the demons. Mm, Lord, oh sweet Jesus, we're doing this while a person is demonically possessed. Lord, we want to come by here and touch this lost soul. Cheeseburger down before serving. I mean, I saw her just gulping that cheeseburger down. I said, 
I see you chewing. <laughs> she go get cheeseburger. And then during service, I remember the pastor came out. I ain't calling in. And she was over there like something wrong with her. And he said, oh, this is my ministry here. He called up. This is my ministry. I'm saying, don't know that girl. She don't choke that cheeseburger down. <laughs> and that pastor was up on the floor wrestling this girl, trying to get a demon out of her. <laughs> In the name of two coming loot, don't you hurt her? Now when he came to my what you need to have us spit that cheeseburger out? I'm sitting here watching them play this thing. And I said, you know what, Lord? I said, this is why we can't grow up. Amen. And she looking like she was spinning a demon out. <laughs> no, you got cheeseburger caught somewhere. I'm telling y'all, I watched this mess. And that's, why, and that's why when I go to certain churches, I don't like doing certain things that are traditional. Amen. Because all the time we play, I want to go out to, to what the word says. And if I'm not there yet, that's where I know I have to come. And I've got to do what, it, what is necessary Amen. to where I believe everything he said I can do. Amen. Okay, my 20 minutes up. Thank you. Y'all stand to you. <laughs> I'm going to finish this message sometime. In the right. But he, he didn't say, go and pray to see if you can do this. He said, heal He said, when you go, don't go have a seance. When you go, pray over the sick and never go. Amen. Amen. And we got we got to come to a point in our own lives that we truly believe Amen. what God has said about what I can do. Amen. Amen. When I'm yoked to him. Beloved, hear me. You cannot do this if you're yoked to the enemy. That's right. Amen. Amen. No. You, it's, it's not going to happen. But when we're yoked to him, we can walk in confidence knowing that we watch the master do it. That's, that's why he took the twelve close to himself. He taught them for three years how to live victoriously. So when the time came when even their life was threatened, they stood bold. And they were not shaken. Uh, Why? Because I could hear Peter say, I knew who I am. Y'all don't understand. I betrayed this man, but I got, he, he, he got a hold of me. And I, I knew who I am now. And when they wanted to crucify Peter, they like Jesus on the cross. He said, I'm not worthy to be crucified like him. Turn me upside down. That's right. That's right. Amen. They crucified Peter upside down. Amen. He was terrified that they would try to put him on a cross like Jesus. Yeah. Amen. He said, I'm not worthy of it. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all those present, all those that will listen to the message later, to take the gospel seriously. That this is not a game. This is the way of life for us. Yes. That when we know who we are, we can do what you said we can do. We don't have to try to fake it. We don't have to try to pump ourselves up. We simply hear and do. For your glory, not our own. We thank you, Lord. Help our unbelief. In Jesus' name I pray.